Good evening guys, Andy Forest Demon here, out in a beautiful Forest of Dean. Not running around the town at night is what I'm doing. And tonight, give you some quick pre-race pre -race thoughts on the new at nine and uh, see how we're feeling, see how the diet's going, all that good stuff. So, I'm going to get back to trying to navigate the pavement without a torch by me in the face and spitting and uh, I'll see you down the industrial estate where we've got just two by four hundreds to get the speed turning over. So yeah, see you down there. So, where do I start? This week has been a bag of nerves wondering how I'm going to feel, what is the plan for Sunday, and just generally is this stitch gone well? I picked a route tonight that uh, has some uphill and a good downhill because the new at nine for two and a half miles is uphill and then three and a half miles is down and then a bit of an up at the end so it's not a flat flat route it comes out at 5.98 miles on the old watch so i wanted to simulate it and before i was having these stitch issues that just gave me a stitch whenever uh, i was always prone to stitches going downhill so i picked a route that had a good same gradient similar bit of downhill see how i felt i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna fake it for the camera there was some discomfort there which is extremely frustrating around mile three when i finished the downhill i got some discomfort so it's extremely frustrating and uh, I think what it's made me do is just accept that this issue is bigger than diet. My diet in itself is, has been incredible this week. I feel a million dollars. I can't deny I feel great. And this gluten-free thing is super. But uh, my obliques hurt. And if you can imagine, it's not the first discomfort was like my obliques uh, just kind of went it's just kind of cramped a bit and so what I'm going to do basically is get out of my head that I'm going to finish strong for the year get out of my head that I'm going to have a fast performance I'm just going to go and enjoy it there's nothing I can do it's two days three days to the race nothing I can do now and after the race once I've enjoyed it book in secrets and uh, get it sorted find out what it is because we've got big plans next year guys and I don't want to do myself a, an injury on Sunday due to the fact that I want to go out hard even though it's going to hurt my, my sides and my stitch in the process that's just stupid so we'll just see how we feel on Sunday we'll go out controlled breathing in check whatever pace that may be and we will see how we feel from there if we feel good we'll kick on if we don't we'll stay where we are but we were sure as hell won't be going out of the 540 pace that we went out at Sevenbridge my initial goal pace because a it's uphill and b we know that doesn't work at the moment so those are my pre-race thoughts RE this weekend thank you for coming along with me tonight keep me company a dark and gloomy night around here if you enjoyed this video guys please give it a like share it with your friends subscribe to the channel for weekly running content give it a like for me being able to hold a light in a camera and i will see you after sunday until then